some aspects of my life I don't claim that I settled even today. A lot of if, if I'd had maybe one home that I'd lived in, if that I'd had more decision-making opportunities, what if I didn't have a diagnosis of anything when I did? If only I had found my own way. What if my life was more written by me rather than by other people sort of pulling and tugging externally? So hi, I am William. I am 25 years old. I live in Dunedin. I am an advocate and representative uh, in the disability community. I I'm conscious of that. I'm also an artist and dancer in the creative interpretive side. 14 years old, I, I, I got diagnosed with autism as bridges. So for me, for my diagnosis uh, journey, I started that at four years old. I was noticing a few different changes, and so by the time I was seven, I had one assessment for then, I think I had ADHD at one point, and then by about 11 or 12, some people thought that I had Tourette's, which I used, if I want to say this quickly, people just throwing things out of the bucket. When I got diagnosed with autism suspicious, I sort of learned a bit about it and just understand it. It's like, how does that characterise or represent me and, and represent myself? I think I'm just a normal human being. I, I, I feel more like I need to suffer from my confidence and my anxiety just play a bit, bit of some time. Some of the things that give me anxiety are family or emotional disruptions, money issues, what I want to eat sometimes, just trying to arrange transport, what time am I going to go home. But platus is when, like, having lots on your plate and it's just trying to have a, a diverse range of activities or tasks or interests or passions in your daily life. Will's a theoriser, a, a neologian, in terms that he makes up words, but he, he deeply thinks about issues that are important to him. My favourite made-up word of his is um, that he describes himself as a platist. So he, um, <laughs> other people tell him sometimes that he takes on too much. I am the director of the Donald Beasley Institute. We're focused on research and education in the field of disability, but we have a very particular and strong focus on learning disability. Central to our work is a really inclusive research approach. In research, we talk about theorising all the time, and Will, he loves coming up with the ideas. He's a huge thinker. It is 10 years of me visiting and connecting and being a part of Donald Beasley Institute. I'm, I'm, I'm off to the Donald Beasley. I am a disability advocate and advisor to different projects. So, uh, Welcome to the, the, the Donald Beasley. Uh, here's uh, some the, the research team. This place fulfills two roles. One when he comes here to work and one for when he comes here to talk. And then through here is uh, Paul, the senior researcher. Cheers. Oh, Hi, William here. Often his work will involve working with Paul. Been good, yeah? Paul's office is a place that is safe and where he can be himself. <laughs> so, so, so I'm, I'm currently sitting in my green chair. The, 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 well, <laughs> he's not, not my green chair. Yeah, my so, green chair. So, <laughs> 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 so, just, <laughs> so just sitting in this chair, I can just come here and chill, and I can just sort of almost, almost let my physical energy sort of just be put to put to rest, and I can just, I can just all focus on my intellectual or. or my mind energy, you know, just, just, just takes a stage. <laughs> but I guess on the, like in the original days, we were tossing around the idea of Tūranga Waiwai, a place, um, a place to stand. Sure thing, yeah. And you said to me, Paul, actually, I think what um, people with learning disabilities uh, need 
is a place to sit. Yeah. And so I guess in a way the chair was, um, I don't know, it kind of began as a place where you started to challenge or question some of the things you experience in the group home, right? Yeah. So like, like, like a lot of your developing sense of yourself as a man was, yeah. you know, kind of informed by um, you um, moving from home into a residential service at yeah. 14. Yeah. and um, the usurping of your voice that happened then. Okay. Mm -hmm. my, my family, I have my dad, uh, that lives with his family, and then also, then I have my mum that lives just with, with, with the, uh, my cat at home. Since I was 14 years old, I've been living in my residential service. So I always reflect, like, having to readjust to there. I used to have all those often, oftenness of unsettled or having to readjust. Have this different sort of aspect to me in each home, I guess. I, I remember when I was a, when I was a kid, me and my dad used to go and have jam on, on, on so, so it's a jam with uh, cheese, jam cheese sandwiches, no, uh, or as I could have had for picnics. It's a bit hot, yeah. So this is my room. Um, when I was young, uh, like, me and my granny used to read a lot and she helped on my, my reading. We used to like, we used to like, do, she used to do, do a chapter and I used to do a page and then, over, over months gone by, sort of it went to almost like page by page, and then sort of, and then almost like went to line by line just until I was reading for a book, and I was very pleased with that. And I used to, ever since I always always been a fan of books, like, you know. Uh, here's a document I got many years ago. This is a, I want one of the I think one of the first I think one of the first books I got around sort of disability and autism and that type of stuff. Um, I, I, apparently, I have some connection to, to Poland through so some of my my dad's family's and uh, dad's family's ancestors, I think. Um, so this is a book here, uh, How to the Future. I, 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 I was interested in the future and how to how to uh, create my life. Yeah, and yeah, from ways of different, yeah, yeah helping, yeah, help find the, the life that um, that they can uh, bring me strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I think it also comes out just because the, the idea of like, like, like confidence or as the decision making wasn't strong enough because of the information they didn't have. I had lots of moments where I've felt or I've needed reassurance on things or, or, or I need to check in a lot. I don't think you can underestimate the damage that's potentially done when from 14 to adulthood, there's no personal agency in your life. For example, money is a mystery, and sure, yeah. um, contracts, finding a house for yourself, all of these things weren't even ordinarily expected. You know, that wasn't your expected trajectory, was it? That wasn't the way your life was going to play out. True. Trying to understand why it was so hard to make the ordinary adult transition from living in a community group home to actually living in a self-authored life. He was probably about 16 or 17 when I met him, getting towards the end of his life at school. And he was really keen to come to the Donald Beasley Institute for work experience. I guess it feels a lot like, I guess that's where I started. I used to look at it, sort of look at it like, I started my journey, to like, even like when I went, started going to people first and when I started going to things outside of that, I all started from the Donald Beasley. I actually met Will through my partner Paul, who works at the Donald Beasley. I think back to a way that he described himself, actually, which was as a platist, and he's a person that puts all of these different things on his plate, and as he goes around doing that, he kind of um, collects us on the way. I am the General Manager for the South Island for CCS Disability Action. So as an organisation, our focus is really on people being included in the life of 
their family and community in everyday settings. When I first met Will, he was living at Mount Cargill Trust. And uh, at that stage, gosh, he was probably 17 or 18. And um, it was kind of clear that he, want, that he thought that there would be a different place for him to live in the future, but that was probably quite a wee way off. And so we'd started doing a lot of research, a lot of work around where he could live and what that might look like. Because it does take Will some time to make sure he's thought through all of the options. And so for him, that's probably added levels of anxiety at times that have made him really uncomfortable. But in true Will fashion, he just keeps going and he keeps looking for the next solution and the next idea. I, there's a, a lot of talking in my life, but still working out on, on, on the action side, yeah, as, yeah, I guess it's sometimes, yeah, I, I think a lot of things and especially a lot of things is just don't get, always get into the action side of getting things uh, other achieved or, in, yeah, the journey to success, I guess, yeah. Such great things about starting to live your life a bit more independently, yeah. but it's also really hard as well. Yeah, like, yeah. like trying to find a home that, that fits well. Yeah. That's one big thing. Like, but I guess I sort of... I've, I've usually had most of my time still do, um, until now, at this point, living in a room that just never really have I don't really understand, like, how the option could, like, be a small unit house, like, you know, like, yeah. Over 18 months, it got to the point where everybody around the table went, come on, well, leap of faith, let's just give it a go. What now have we got? Hey! That's <laughs> it now. Now, after two years of living in the community, he's tried two or three different options, and now he's gone, actually, I, I want to live by myself, and he's on the hunt for his own flat. I'm just trying to establish my home life in a stronger way. Almost like I've rebirthed myself since exiting or transitioning out of residential care. I remember he just started dancing too, and we started to explore the dance that you did, um, the solo piece that you choreographed. I did a creating choreography and, and I did I had it like well, what elements I can put into my dance and like how to represent represent sort of the, 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 that phase or that or, or, or that or that that way of thinking in my dance. And so it coded for all sorts of things you danced. You were worried about saying the things that you were thinking out loud. And dance became a very subtle and secretive way of you expressing yourself as a man. OK. This is where the, my dance, this is where I sometimes dance. I'm going to the dance room now. Dance has helped me to, to loosen up on my body, m m maybe having working on my voice and, and speaking and presenting in, in open public spaces or, or group situations. For me, I was just like trying to find a, a, way, of, a way of scripting or, or, or sort of rotting a bit of my own, own decision making pathways. Hello. Hi, hi, Hannah. Hey. Good, how are you? Well, welcome to dance class. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. How are you? Doing good, yeah. Right down here. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Having a good day? Having a good day, yeah. Yeah, pretty yep. good. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. We need to do some stuff. We need to do some stuff, yeah. I'll take my shoes off. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sorry, awesome. I'm Hannah Briggs, and I'm co founder of Gasp Dance Collective. I've been running inclusive dance classes for adults with and without disabilities and we focus on creativity, performance, dance fitness, and just generally having lots and lots of fun. Dance is just, it's just such an amazing art form for, for anyone that maybe finds, well, not even finds words, I mean, some people find words difficult, or some people have a lot of words they want to explore, and it's a way to, yeah, it's a way to be expressive, but in a really physical sense. We have to really trust each other, yeah, so yeah, to pull away. Each other. Each and other. if I let go, <laughs> we would go crashing on the floor, but I'm not yeah. going to do that. Yeah, yeah. No, so I think I did sort of the little lassie jar type, type thing. So you kind of, the movements build up. This dance, just trying to explore uh, who I am and trying to find, uh, I, I, I'm also on my journey of how I just sort of break through a lot of things and, and yeah. 
and trying to, trying to, trying to fight for me to be my, my, my own self. For Will, he's just got so many ideas, there's so much going on in his amazing brain that being able to like find different ways of exploring these ideas and expressing himself is really beneficial. So whether that's dancing or writing, public talking, he's getting it all out. This is Studio Two in Margaret Freeman Gallery. Uh, so, 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 this is Megan, uh, one of the studio assistants. Uh, I, I just started coming here uh, to, 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 to help express myself. Uh, as I was, I was starting to dance, I thought also get to start getting into art as well, which I always used to like drawing and you know, did, did doing creative stuff. Uh, enjoying the moment or just thinking through some day, the things of the day, or just focusing on my colours or the, the, the design of who I'm working on. I'm probably, probably, probably least anxious um, if, if I get focused, yeah. I was wandering around and all of a sudden I saw a sign for Toastmasters. I'll try this time and see if I can wander in and sort of try out a session. And so as I did, that was how it happened and, and just how, how warming and, just, and how, how comfortable I felt with the group around me. I think it's helping me like in terms of how me speaking and speaking and oh, I really just need to find a moment to slow down. Sorry, when I'm here. Hi, yeah. Okay. Hey, good. 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 Toastmasters, my name is William, and today I'm going to talk to you about caring for our feline counterparts. Men's real best friend, the cat. <laughs> In the minutes that follow, I'm going to convince you that cats are really, really very friendly and a lot of fun to look after. A healthy diet for cats consists of small portions of dried food and water, canned or packaged beef, lamb, chicken, or fish meals. Save a little corner on your bed like I have, and you too can have a best friend like me. Thank you for your time. It was posture and a grin and eye contact. And what a great way to start a speech. He nailed it. He got himself ready. He wasn't panicking. He didn't rush into it. He just set himself up nice and straight and he smiled. And we could all learn something from that today. What could make the speech better? I encourage him to reduce his notes rather than to have the words. He knows what his cat Monty looks like. He knows the foods that cats like to eat. So congratulate William on a great speech and look forward to his next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks all. Cheers. 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 We'll see you next week. Yep. Awesome. The, 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 the very uh, great comments. Um, just, just just working on the start, make sure those sentences happen and and yeah, and have a bit more substance and giving more examples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's all, all good. And just keep expanding and growing. Yeah. You talked a little bit about being a nomad by choice, yeah. which meant that you're always a visitor in places. 
would it be fair to say that some of your anxieties is about um, finding places of belonging and okay. are you contributing, you know, like are you adding value to place and so, yeah. um, I get a sense that... Um, yeah. Definitely. It was like yeah. in earlier days, like, I remember like I, when I first started connecting, also I tried to try and bring something with me rather than just, I sort of tried to, I felt that was a way of sort of purchasing my, my right to be in it's like whether I brought a resource in, whether, and that's kind of idea of being thoughtful as well. Hi Josh, what is speaking? Hi, I I just missed your call. Is everything okay? Are uh, you everything's okay? Um, d d d just wondering. Um, <laughs> are you keen uh, to, to to go to town tonight? Yes. Oh, oh, oh awesome! That'll be great. Awesome. Yeah. For sure. I I I'm just gonna get ready myself. So we'll, we'll see you soon. Okay. Awesome. Cheers. All the best, uh, Josh. We'll, we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Awesome. Bye. Hey. Alright, here's my clothes for tonight. I'm just gonna see which ones I'm gonna wear. So, okay. I, I've sort of not really engaged or invested enough in you know, emotionally or, or socially in friendships. I found the sort of easy of the professional relationship. Let's go, I wasn't take my final course for it. Uh, yeah, so let me sort that out. Awesome. I don't need to be some more and somehow I'll just I'll, I'll allow, allow to allow to loosen up a bit more, yes. Hey. Hi, going good, how you going good? Looks good. Hey Josh. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, yeah. Yeah, 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 Holy cheek, um, when I was seeing my diploma on marketing. We, we, we had to definitely split each other around yeah. at that point, and then it sort of took a, took a, f a few months to actually, actually uh, start connecting uh, the other. And then and from them. there, we um, went to a number of disability advocate groups. Oh, my God. I've been trying to help all the greatest new workers but to also be new people. Yes. Do they? We, we enjoy socialising. Well, we like going out to the bars, we like yes. going out to cafes. Hello. Um, can I get a lemon on business? What do you think? Socially, yeah, I'm almost like put the fence line, the gates are about to be open or all the fence, fences just to be knocked down, you know. Almost, well, uh, that's not even a squid, but I, I'm not sure what tamarind dressing would what do I resent? I've seen a significant change in his confidence and his ability to relate to people. We've still got a long way to go, but he'll get there. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. I'm saying this, you know, like having to sort of shared ownership or cut ownership on sort of decisions or, or, you know, or collaborative things like. And that's part of actually what I think looking for work, I think, is that trying to find a way that I can do things on my own and trust that I, 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 I've got this, rather than sort of, I still don't think almost the doubt and the fear, I need to check in as to have I actually got <laughs> this right here. Yeah. I think you're brave, Will. I yes, think you're sure. brave um, for all sorts of reasons. One, because um, you do things in leotards that I would never imagine um, sure. uh, doing. Sure, yeah. uh, like, you do things that mm -hmm. I think uh, 
um, beyond most people's comfort zone, right? Sure, sure. More importantly, that you're brave is some of your struggles and, and anxieties are actually around decision making, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. You know, having people having made decisions for you yeah. for so long, and yet you still take the step into the unknown. You force yourself to be in a place where it actually. Um, whilst your inclination is to rely on your chairs, it actually forces you to step up to the plate and, um, and make decisions. And I think that's actually the height of bravery. For Will, I hope that he can get to a place where he can judge himself on him, rather than looking to judge himself on everybody else. Because the journey that he's made has been braver than most of us ever have to be. For people that all have a different element that they bring now. She's helped me transition from a residential service to my community and just pull a lot from the first time I met. I sort of just wandered in and how we can expand on things and listen to each other and learn off each other. Bridget helped me with sort of the ABC representative side. To Hannah, she brought me into the theatre community, act, acting and informants. But I think there's some big shifts Ice big shifts or something, somehow. There's so still lots of things I need to achieve uh, going forward. Come on, life. Attitude was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.